Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Tori back with another video. I am finally back in my reading era, in my book girl era. So I have decided to do a review and rating of all the books I read in January. There are only three books this month, which you cannot see right now because they are blurred. So let's just get into the rating bit, shall we? Now, first, I have to be honest. I started and read most of this in 2023, but I finished it on January 1st, so it has to be part of the January lineup, naturally. And that is My Life with the Walter Boys. I love this book. I love it. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite books. Um, oh, I love this book. And if you didn't know, there actually is a Netflix series uh, that is based on this book. Netflix, The Netflix series is absolutely fantastic. Love it. Phenomenal. Great. I will say that I mentally have to separate the book and the show. Um, because a character that does something in the show, it'll be a completely different character doing that same thing in the book. I don't know if that makes sense, but... The, the main skeleton and outline lines up, but the details just aren't there, so I have to mentally separate them. As far as the book goes, the book follows around Miss Jackie. Jackie is a high school student. Jackie is a city girl. Jackie's from New York. Jackie's a little pretentious. She wants to get into Stanford, I think, or Princeton. She's, uh, she's very serious. She doesn't really have fun. Jackie's a straight-A student, you know, she's a perfectionist, she's she's a very particular person, okay? And when Jackie's family tragically passes away in an accident, that means she has to move across the country to live with Catherine Walters, which is a family friend of her mom. Now, Miss Walters is fantastic, but the Walters family is anything but ordinary, guys. There are 12 kids, 11 of which are boys, and the Walters live on a ranch. They're like horseback riding. They like the outdoors. They're messy. They're fun. So the opposite of Jackie, okay? And then Jackie has to come and move in with them, and she meets the family, and she goes in, and she sees two of the boys in particular, Cole and Alex. And man, she's got eyes for both of them. So she's all like, oh, I like both of them. So through the book, we're following her, trying to figure out her feelings. And we're looking at the guys and seeing how the guys both liking the same girl affects their relationship. And we're seeing her grieving with, from the loss of her family while integrating herself into another family. So much going on. I love this book. It's so good. There are funny moments. There are sad moments. It's, it's just, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. Plus, it's by Ali Novak, which she's one of my favorite authors. I've already read some books by her, and she's just absolutely amazing. Love her. Love her. But this is so good. This is probably a 4.75. I love this book so much. Mm. Okay, next book. So, um, before I show you this next one, I would like to say I'm sorry. To all of the uh, book lovers of the universe, um, I know that... Uh, I'm ashamed of what I'm about to show you. But whilst I was reading this, my dog got a hold of it. It's a little chewed. But if we could just ignore that bit. The second book I read was part of the Lockwood & Co. series. And this is the first book, The Screaming Staircase. Now, this is more of a like sci-fi paranormal book, which I don't normally read a lot of them because it just... The way that some, the way that that kind of stuff is written a lot of the times just doesn't click with me. But this, the, the writing in this book is so good. I'm definitely going to be reading the rest of this series. Now, like My Life with the Walter Boys, this one also has a Netflix show. Although it was canceled after one season, boo Netflix. But anyways, so in this book, we have a world that is facing and dealing with what is called the problem. Essentially, the problem is just ghosts. Ghosts are everywhere. Ghosts are bugging people. Ghosts are trying to hurt you. So, naturally, there's agencies to hunt the ghosts and catch them. Now, we have Miss Lucy Carlisle, which I believe she's about 15 in the book, 14, 15. She's a young girl, 
and she was in one of the big agencies something happens and she gets kicked out of that agency so she's looking for a new agency and she stumbles upon lockwood and co and lockwood and co who's in the agency you might ask two boys two teenage boys so interestingly enough they're the only ones that liked her enough to offer her a job so she starts working with lockwood and co and this book just follows them dealing with the problem and follows them uh fighting ghosts and and the, the problems or the struggles that they come through it is tearjerker at times it is funny it is just the writing is so delicious i love it it's so vivid you can see everything that's happening and maybe that's because i watched the show before maybe not but i could literally i could it was like reading a movie um it's just so good so if jonathan Stroud, he's great he's a great author the writing is just impeccable oh i love this book this is like a 4.75 as well oh i could talk about the first two all day so let's get to the last book and it is icebreaker So I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like it at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hannah Grace. Look, there's a main reason I didn't like it, and that is because there are so many spice scenes. I didn't know there were spice scenes in this. I just bought it because there was hockey in it. I was excited to read about the hockey. I didn't get a lot of hockey. I got a lot of spice. I didn't want spice. I mean, if spice is your thing, then go get this run don't walk like if you love spice scenes get it i cannot do spice scenes they made me really uncomfortable i had to stop reading every like 30 pages or so i vividly remember finishing it putting it down and telling my mom god i wish i i remember telling my mom literally putting it down and telling my mom man i thought i would never finish that book because it's true it felt like a chore reading this because i kept having to put it down because i was like I'm uncomfortable and it's also one of those where it's like I can't read it in public because when I'm reading like how my face is gonna it's just it just it just wasn't for me um but if you like spice scenes and you love reading stuff like that uh go for it um I'll give you the rundown anyways uh so loosely this is um it it's goes from two point of views which I do find interesting that is an interesting um aspect of the book so we follow uh, Anastasia and Nathan. Anastasia is a ice skater who's wanting to go to the Olympics. Nathan is an ice hockey player. They are both in college and they go to the same college and they practice on separate rinks. However, when a prank gone wrong destroys one of the rinks, the hockey team and the ice skaters have to share a rink. The ice skaters figure skaters ding dong toy so um they end up having to share a ring so then of course there's the enemies to lovers trope in the you know blah 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 love blah 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 sex 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 so um just wasn't my cup of tea um it just wasn't for me um but if you love that stuff go get it for real it's great um this is probably a one if i'm being honest it's about a one um yeah anyways uh that's it i hope you liked today's video because there's gonna be another one in february because i'm already reading some books in february um so let me know what y'all thought if y'all have read the books comment down below if there are any books i should read um don't forget to like and subscribe thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all next time